me some milk fruits for seeding. And there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go, then. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Never seen anything like this. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. I was in a vault. They put me in cryogenic freeze. Remarkable! I must say, darling, you seem very well preserved. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Edward Gray. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. This took a weird turn. Why did Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration. And we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few or jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling, what do you think of the water around here? I'm with the Minutemen. Did you need help with something? Why, yes. That's what I was getting at, dear. The water. It's simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. If you Minutemen can lend us a hand, I'll be eternally grateful. What do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old Western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Why? Have you looked into our little water problem, darling? What are you going to do with that? What are you offering, exactly? It's too 
caps a piece? Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Supervisor Brown. Well begun is half done. Ready to hand over those mute fruits? Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Jolly good. Here you are. Two caps apiece. You will see about that one, won't you? I hear a lot of talk about the railroad. Helping free synths and all that. They don't sound too bad. Look alive. What is it? Hey. What is it? What's on your mind? Back before General Becker died, the Minutemen were a force to be reckoned with. What are you thinking about? I think you've got what it takes to be a great leader. But you still have to prove yourself. How do you think things are between us? I'll be honest, I'm still trying to figure you out. But I haven't given up on you, if that's what you're asking. That's all. Okay. Do you think it's easy being this beautiful? I assure you. 